Hi, it's Therese and Lost in Paper, and today I'm going to colour with you. And today it's Ink Tense pencils. I haven't had these out in a little while, and I just really felt like playing with them. And this is the first time I've used them on the Bristol Smooth cardstock, and it just worked so beautifully. I loved it. And I love the fact that this cardstock is really white. Um, which is very similar to the white that I use on my normal card bases so I don't have to color the whole front of the piece of watercolor card to kind of cover up the different color whites it's little things like that that irritate me anyway so I love the fact that it's a really white card stock even though I did cover up most of this panel <laughs> I don't know why I even went into that story but anyway okay so I'm Two different ways I use my Intense pencils. I lay them down on the cardstock, so I actually colour some of the colour onto my cardstock and add a brush that has some water on it. Not usually too much water and not usually too much colour. It's a very intense pigment that comes out of these pencils. It's more like an ink than a paint. The other way I use them is like I'm doing here on her cheeks. I'm actually using my brush directly to the lead pencil it's not lead but you know the pencil color and picking up the color and dropping it onto my image and this um, medium actually dries permanent so once you've activated it with water then you need to make sure that you're happy with the result that's going to be it will dry a little bit lighter than um, what you see won't be quite as vibrant as you add the water it's very vibrant and it does sort of dull down as it dries a little bit but if you make any mistakes or you are not really happy oh, you need to fix it before it dries because you can't reactivate it afterwards one thing you can do because it's permanent one of the best things that you can do is you can actually use other mediums on top once it's fully dry because it won't reactivate and mix with those mediums so even though it's a negative it's also a positive so I like to add a couple of the different shades at once and then I'll come in with my shadowing and maybe a darker shade of the color afterwards until I'm sort of happy so I will let these layers dry in between mostly um, and it doesn't take very long to dry because I actually don't use a lot of water with these pencils. All right, so I'm going to leave you with the coloring now. I'll be back when it's done. Of course, all of the colors will be listed over at my blog as well as a full list of the supplies and some still pics. So the link will be in the YouTube description below and I'll be back when the coloring's all finished.
Now I do like to use my distress inks in the background and that's what I'm doing here. This is the bundled sage and I forgot to say that this stamp is called sharing a song and I did stamp her with some archival jet black ink just to make it waterproof. Onto my sentiment now and this is from the holiday snippets set and I thought I just wanted to keep this very simple so just added one word it's almost hidden in my little scene. I want to pop up the panels and put all my card together now so I've used my ATG gun and some fun foam. This is a piece of white cardstock that's cut slightly bigger than my image panel that I've cut down to sort of fit on the card front and I want to actually pop up this is a quite a thick fun foam this one's I think it's about three millimeters thick so it does sit fairly high off the card and then what I've done is actually add a like a one millimeter fun foam behind my actual image panel and then I'm popping that up yet again on the front of that center panel I just thought that gave it a little bit more interest on such a fairly simple design I've got my two-way zig glue pen now because I'm wanting to add some prisma glitter kind of like snowflakes falling in the background even though it's a green I don't know why I wanted a green background but you know <laughs> I didn't want blue and so it's green anyway um my pen doesn't go on blue you know how the ink oh the glue is meant to be blue and then dry clear this pen has never been blue I've shook it up I've shaken it up I've shaken it up and it hasn't worked so I don't know it still seems to work but I kind of prefer my quicker glue pen and next time I probably would have used that instead I just used a soft brush to brush away the excess glitter that was on my panel and that's my finished card thanks for joining me I'll be back again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye